Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org and also royal family and friends we want to share with you Yahweh's keys to riches and on that YouTube channel you can listen to Yahweh's daily word and keep up with the correct solar time each and every day we'd like to see you there as well. Go to Yahweh's Keys to Riches. It's in the description below so that you can join us there as well. Remember, when you get there, just like here, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channels. All right, Royal Family, we look forward to seeing you there as well. Enjoy. See, when you don't have the right purpose in life, it, in, it implies that you have the wrong purpose. And the wrong person, the purpose can cause you to compromise your integrity if you have any. Sometimes you'll become a prostitute, a beggar, a thief, and a robber. Many of our people end up in prison because they didn't understand that there is a time and a season for everything. There's a purpose. So what is your purpose? Not your acquired purpose from what other people have told you you should seek to please them in. See, many times we choose an avenue in life. Sometimes we choose a vocation in life that's really not our own, but it's the expectations of somebody else that we admire. Sometimes we want to please mama and daddy, so we'll go to school for this, but we don't want to be that. In fact, sometimes we don't know what we want to be. You would be shocked to know that 80% of all students in college in their freshman year and sophomore year don't know what their major is. And sometimes they, they go there and want to sound like they know what they're doing, so they'll claim a major. Hmm? And say, so, yeah, you know, I was good at this in high school, so I think I'll major in this. But see, you didn't think about majoring in that in high school. Why are you choosing this to major in now? That's when people go and get a job and they're unhappy and unfulfilled on the job because it's not, they're not happy doing what they're doing. They're doing it to get a check. And they want a check to get materialism. And they get materialism so that somebody will say, I like that. But you're the one in debt. <laughs> After everybody look at your new car, you're the one got to look at payments for seven years. <laughs> I'm talking for real, and I'm talking about ethics. I'm telling you there's a purpose in life, and when you don't know your purpose, there's something missing in your life. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled. You're not at peace within yourself. And then sometimes when you don't have peace, you make sure nobody else around you have too much. Some of us become experts in making other folk miserable.
because we're miserable. They come up with a statement to justify and say, misery love company. <laughs> well, you who are miserable won't have my company. <laughs> You'll have to find somebody that loves misery. <laughs> I'm not your man. I love happiness, joy, peace, and love. Satisfaction. And that's what I enjoy because I'm, I'm in the will of Yahweh's purpose. And if you want to be happy and want to learn how to be happy, then I'm the man you need to come and learn of. There's a purpose for your living on this earth. I declare to you that you'll... See, it's not just a matter about it being a time to be born, but then after you are born, What's your purpose? Says so then there's a time to die. Well, any fool can die. <laughs> Takes no wisdom to die. But it does take wisdom to live with peace and joy and the blessings of Yahweh. So ethics is a system of moral principles which deals with rules of conduct that is required to live at peace within a culture. And it deals with values. Ethics deals with values relating to human conduct. How you act toward others around you. Ethics deals with the rightness and wrongness of conduct, thought, ideas, concepts. It deals with good and bad, the goodness and badness of motive, intention, desires, and expressions. Ethics demands and implies high standards of honesty, high standards. You, when you're ethical, you become high class. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many like to be among the high class? Yes, Praise God. See, if you, if you want to be of the low class, then you have to leave here. Yes, you have to search hard to find somebody in here that believes in being low class. And you all have to get together. Yes, but I am high class. Yes, I am the highest. And in order for you to follow me or be my disciple or to believe in me or to support me, you have to believe in high class. I am eighth. And I am first rate. And in order to follow me, you must believe in being first rate. Because if you don't believe in being first rate, you'll be unhappy here. I'm establishing the high class society, the highest society. That's what I am establishing. <laughs> Notice that I am speaking to your mind, not your emotions. But I'm speaking to your mentality. And it requires you to have an appreciation for the dictionary and the encyclopedia. And have the finesse of refined research too. And you have to have an appreciation for words. Because words are used to communicate. And if I'm using certain words that you don't understand their meaning, then how can we communicate? And if you don't want to learn the meaning of what I'm saying, then you will leave here misinformed, subject to spread misinformation and disinformation. 
which certainly will not hurt me, it will only hurt you, but I'm here to help you. Therefore, to come here gives you the opportunity to elevate your mind. Sitting in this class is a free item that you have not had to pay tuition for. See, this isn't costing you $20,000 a year in Harvard, or Yale, or Princeton, or Oxford. But you're getting what you cannot buy at the first-rate colleges and universities of the world. What I'm giving you can't be bought. It's higher than anything taught in universities. Ethics is not taught. Morality is not taught. Yahweh's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is not taught. Making you first class, giving you knowledge that will make you the highest in society and in civilization just is not taught. Teaching you how to become gods and rulers of the earth forever is not taught to you. You're taught to prepare yourself to get a better what? Job. Job. Hmm? Oh, come on, face up. See, I've been there. You can't, you just as well fess up because, see, I've been where you've been. I've been to the schools you've been to. You definitely have been programmed to seek a better what? That means you have been programmed to become a better servant <laughs> to somebody. Certainly isn't your mama or your daddy or your grandpa or your grandma that you taught to become a better servant to. It certainly isn't your people and your community that you are taught and trained and programmed and brainwashed to become a servant to. You are trained, programmed, and brainwashed to seek a job from people who traditionally oppress you and discriminate against you and ask you to train somebody that is against you with less qualifications than you who does not look like you but after you train them they become your supervisor. Do I have a witness? You are not trained and programmed and brainwashed to become the rulers of this society, the producers of this society, the manufacturers of this society. You are not trained and taught and programmed and brainwashed to become the entrepreneur of this society. And if for some reason that you have the immediate gall to try to become an entrepreneur and you try to make it in spite of all things, then they will underfinance you. They call that undercapitalization. If they loan you anything, they'll tie up everything you have, give you 60% of the value, and make sure you have just enough to fail. Then they take it all from you. Do I have a witness? <laughs> We're trained to be servants on a job for other people who discriminate against us. So we become overworked, underpaid, sometimes just out of work. <laughs> oh, you break any time you can take fifty million black folks up from slavery and brainwash them to just all of them look for a job. And then you ask me, what's wrong with us? And then we fight each other over those little few jobs that's left. Other people, other nations in America make twice the money we make all the way up. Okay, what you doing? on your job. Hmm? And then if you try to be inter independent and an entrepreneur, then they'll tax you out of your mind. Hmm? 
And if you don't be, be a good agent for them, hmm? they'll padlock you up, take your stuff, won't even let you work and pay it off. <laughs> just, just take it. As if they sacrificed to put all this together. Are you and you gonna tell me you free? <laughs> huh? If you're free, then tell the tax folks, get the hell on out of my place, man. You better not. I'm cutting the lock off and running my place. You better get away. Me and my people will drive you out. You, you come up in here if you want to. <laughs> so you don't have that. I leave. Okay. <laughs> Not free, but I've come to change the seasons and the time. That's a blessing for my people to have someone who is here to change the time. This is difficult times for our people. How many of you admit that we need a time change? I mean, admit we need a season that will grow something for us. Praise God. That's what I'm here to do. So when you join with me, then you are only gaining power of the one that has the power to change the time of season. See, I already have the power to change the time of season. I don't need you to change the time of season. You joining me has no effect on me getting it done. See, I'm, I have the power to get it done anyway. You can just come and join me and receive the blessing of what I have the power to do. Praise God. And then when your mind becomes free in Yahweh, we become unstoppable. So long as we remain together in Yahweh, we are unstoppable. Our enemy might try to find a way to take a building. We don't care. We buy another one. How do you think we got the ones we got? We got it. Didn't nobody give it to us. If there's no building to buy, we'll build one. That's power. And if our enemies in America would refuse to let us buy and renovate, or if our enemies refuse to let us have land to build on, then I will say to America what Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. You do it. See, I am proving that Yahweh is among us today. <laughs> he is not coming. Yahweh is here. Among us now. <laughs> Ruling in heaven and in the affairs of men. I have power with Yahweh and with man. <laughs> I'm like an elephant in America's front door with my foot on a porch and truck and a door. You can't ignore it. You won't give it to me? That's all right. I'll buy it. You won't let me buy it? I'll build it. You don't do that, you're going to have to let it go. Or Yahweh will bring a Passover across the All we have to do is go in a house and just shut up and just sit quiet. The same man that brings the, the floods in and shuts Chicago down. He can free us. The same man that stir up a tornado and wipe out the whole cities and towns within a minute.
who can set off a volcano eruption and wipe out a state within minutes, who can set off earthquakes and wipe out a million people in a minute, that same man is all 